The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I may know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. God or Mammon? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and Mammon. Matthew 6, verse 24. You have, as an individual, a soul to save or to lose. And although Noah, Job, and Daniel were in the land, they could save but their own souls through their righteousness. If you consider this, it will help you to realize that you must be in earnest to apply your mind and all your powers day by day to secure profitable results. The worshipers of the world make mammon their god, and everything else is subordinate to this worship. Should not the Christian keep in subordination the love of pleasure, the love of everything that is contrary to the interests of Jesus Christ? Precious time has not been given to be wasted on that which is less than nothing and vanity. And thus doing, we are cheating ourselves out of present peace in this life and eternal happiness in the life to come. Do not make a low standard your aim. Aim high. Never be found at any time working on the side of the great adversary of souls, who is seeking to counteract the workings of the Spirit of God. Walk not hastily, but firmly in the strength and grace of Jesus Christ. You are the property of Christ, both by creation and redemption, and the glory of God is involved in your individual success. You are a spectacle unto the world, to angels, and to men. Be brave in God, put on the whole armor of God, and let your unbelieving Father see that your life is not spoiled because you stand loyal and true to all the commandments of God as a Seventh-day Adventist. You can be, and God requires you to be, a decided witness for Him. Do not work at all on Satan's side of the question. Probationary time is precious. Make the most of the golden moments putting to use the talents God has given, that you may accumulate something for the Master and be a blessing to all around you. Let the heavenly angels look down with joy upon you because you are loyal and true to Jesus Christ.